rotating. It's rotating. All right, this is pretty freaky. They say the truth is out there. The Pentagon releasing a long-awaited report on UFOs saying there were 143 encounters which the military just can't explain. Team 12's Josh Sanders has more on the intelligence report and how the government is not ruling anything out. There's a whole fleet of them, look on the ASA. To believe or not believe, that is the question. Many people in my family believe in them, and I'm thinking maybe I should too. Why not? The more things you believe in, the better. Friday, the U.S. Office of the Director of National Intelligence releasing their unclassified preliminary assessment on what the Pentagon calls unidentified aerial phenomena. Don't count anything out these days. It's a crazy world. The report looked at dozens of flying objects spotted between 2004 and this year by military planes, finding no clear indication of a non-terrestrial explanation. I don't think I believe in alien aircrafts. So what are they? Other governments, technologies, and things flying around. Not necessarily. The report found no indication of a foreign program or technological advancement of a potential adversary. But they did find these UAPs represent safety and potential security issues. I think they're real. Look at that. One. They're lined up in, in a pattern. In 1997, thousands saw a strange V-shaped pattern spanning miles over the valley known as the Phoenix Lights. And there have been other sightings across the country dating back decades. Next thing you know, this big light turns into two lights, turns into four lights, turns into six lights, and it is flashing really, really fast up. And I'm not kidding, it's like true, true story. <laughs> Some of the report is still classified, and officials will continue their efforts to investigate, because whether you believe or not, the truth is out there. I'm waiting to be lifted. <laughs> Josh Sanders, 12 News.